How's it going guys? Huxthor here and we're back once again with Ark Survival Evolved. Now in our last episode I asked you guys for some name ideas for a couple of the dinosaurs here and you guys come up with some really awesome names. Now I did have to narrow it down but uh, for the Spinosaur I went with Finn the Fabulous Spinosaurus. Now obvi obviously Fabulous is not part of his name but it's uh, you know it goes together so you know yeah I just had to throw that in there. And uh, for the Triceratops over here, I actually went with Nugget. Um, a subscriber actually commented, and they're also a YouTuber themselves, so be sure to go check out Sam Nugget. He was the one that made the comment to uh, name one of my dinosaurs Sam. And I couldn't resist. The, the Nugget part just seemed like it fit so perfectly for this guy, doesn't it? He just, he looks like a Nugget. I mean, that looks like the perfect name for him. Anyway... Um, a lot of you are probably expecting a broodmother battle this episode, and I am sad to say that a few things have come up, um, one of which three of my dinosaurs actually died in a horrible trading accident. The good news is I did manage to replace them with uh, a little bit meatier, tougher dinos here, like Jasper, the friendly Carno. Uh, he kind of looks albino, doesn't he? I mean, I think he is. But uh, this dude is so freaking beastly. He is so fast, and... On top of everything, his stamina is just maxed out, I swear. He can run so freaking long. He's kind of like a raptor, in a way. It, it's it's crazy. But uh, anyway, we also got this nice T-Rex up here. I could not resist. The markings on this guy are just so beautiful. So, we um, let's go ahead and jump on the back of Professor Rex here. We'll just use him to get up to Whiskey. That is actually what I named my T-Rex, by the way, Whiskey. I couldn't help myself. I really couldn't come up with anything else. And I was like, you know what? Whiskey sounds like a good name. And, uh, you know, the, the funny thing is I'm not, even, I'm not even a drinker, guys. I don't even drink. I don't touch this stuff. But I do want to show you guys this guy's roar because it is freaking awesome. Look at that beastly badass. This dude is crazy. So anyway, in this episode, I do want to kind of just mess around a little bit since we can't do the uh, the broodmother battle. I wanted to show you guys what the uh, Spinosaur over here is truly capable of because this guy is remarkably just, he is like immortal, I swear. I actually took on uh, either six or seven Brontosauruses at the same time with this dude and he didn't even drop below 90% health. I mean, he's getting pounded left and right by brontosauruses and he didn't even get a scratch out of it literally so we're just gonna kind of take this dude and you will notice his stamina is pretty good too but let's go ahead and take this dude and I just want to kind of show him off a little bit hopefully we can find some brontos to uh, pick on I know that sounds messed up doesn't it we're gonna go pick on some brontos that are like twice my dude's size but he can easily take them and it's it's the craziest thing because I tried the same thing with my Rex but uh, the Rex had a little bit more problems. He uh, he was actually getting his butt kicked. And yeah, the Rex is a little bit lower level than um, Finn here. But this dude is just... I can't believe how beastly he is. It's like there's a glitch in him because he just... He doesn't take any damage. Or at least he didn't before. Now, since this new update, I have not tried this out. So things may be a little different. Oh, here's a Carno. Let's go munch on this dude. He looks like a tasty little snack for our guy, doesn't he? What are you doing, Carnosaur? What are you doing, dude? I don't know, does this dude have a roar? No, he doesn't. But that Spinosaurus, or, I mean, the Carnosaurus didn't last very long against Finn. Nothing does, to tell you the truth. And, uh, did he just... Did he just take down the tree? Here we go, guys. Here's a couple of Brontosauruses right here. Let's see how many times it takes, um... How many bites it takes for Finn here to take down this Brontosaurus. That raptor better watch out. He comes near my dude. I'll have him freaking killed. But yeah, let's just take this dude down. Come on, come on. And I'm actually out of stamina, and I still took this dude down with effort. He was only level one, though. We'll see if we can find some little bit higher level guys here. Doesn't this saddle look freaking awesome on him? I'm just sitting here admiring it. I don't really know why the three straps go over his fin like that. It kind of looks awkward, but I do like the way it looks overall, so I'm just going to keep it. And uh, let's go pick on this guy a little bit. This dude looks like he's been up to no good, so let's just go give him some shit. If we can get through the trees here. Damn, there is raptors chasing freaking little dinos everywhere. I feel bad for him. What level is this guy? Is it going to tell us? Uh, I don't know. Let's just tear him. Let's just kill him. Tear this dude apart. What the hell was that? Was that a tree? Oh, this dude was level 8. 
And yeah, I took him down without freaking any problem. I love this dinosaur, I can't help it. He is so freaking beastly. What what just happened? I just killed a dodo. How did I kill a dodo? Did I step on it? I mean, let me get my dude situated here. I can't see, god dang it. Okay, let's listen. I did, I think. I think I just heard the dodo like cry or something. I'm not really sure if we're killing them by stepping on them though. I just want to keep trying. Let's just say, oh yes, you can kill the dodos by stepping on them with the Spinosaurus. I did not know that. All right, so there's a couple other things I want to show off in this episode. One of which is my assault rifle here with this nice little night vision scope. And I did get pretty lucky, guys, because I actually managed to find the uh, laser attachment, the flashlight attachment, and something else. I don't remember what else it was, but I found some attachments for my guns. So. It saved me a lot of time because the uh, silica pearls and stuff like that you that you need to craft up some of the attachments They're actually a little bit of a pain in the butt at least for me I haven't figured out the uh, best way to round them up yet, but uh, I got really lucky with that So I'm ecstatic and I want to show you guys exactly what they're what they're capable of so let's uh Let's just kind of pick on some of these lower level dinosaurs here. I know I'm such a freaking ass I'm just gonna shoot this dude in the face Hey yeah, that's pretty good. It didn't take much to kill that dude, and he's level 9. So I'm pretty impressed with that. And the Dilo starts eating my freaking food, dude. That was mine, okay? Who the hell gave you permission to eat my shit? So let's go ahead and pull out the pistol at this point. I do want to show you guys the little flashlight attachment here, because this thing is so handy. Every time I go down into, like, a cave now, I have to take this attachment with me, because it, it really comes in handy. Just not having to worry about a torch and uh, you know being able to shoot with my flashlight at the same time It's just beautiful. I love it And I do want to show you guys the uh, the laser attachment real quick too. Let's just put it on the rifle Dude, how many times I gotta tell you pay your rent on time, okay? If you don't pay your rent on time, then I can't offer you protection from the freaking carnos All right, so you see what happens. You see what happens here? Let this be a lesson to all the other dinos pay your rent on time okay guys that's the last time I'm gonna warn you so um you got something to say about that you got something I want to say was that your mate no, I didn't think so buddy stupid freaking Dilo you're so stupid I love the assault rifle I really do this thing is so beastly anyway let's go ahead and switch back over to the pistol because it is dark and I am stupid because you guys probably won't be able to see a damn thing I just did because it's so dark in the game I'll have to lighten up the video maybe just so that way you guys could actually see me playing with a little assault rifle with the uh, laser attachment there. Oh no, 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 no. What the hell's going on here? You get the hell out of here. All right, you, you get out of here. I don't really care for the pistol. It's just, I don't know, maybe I'm just horrible with it. I can't like shoot with it or something, but I can't kill crap with this thing for some reason. It takes way too many freaking bullets. There we go. And he was only level one and it took all those bullets. So, I don't know, oh shit. Oh shit! Oh shit! Die, you stupid scorpion! That's right, that's what I'm talking about. You don't want none of this. I thought about taming one of these guys, but these guys creep me out so much I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was like, ugh. Um, you will notice I did mark most of the caves, or at least the caves I've come across so far. I went ahead and marked them on my map, and this isn't perfect by any means. It's, um, it's just a general location. But one of them caves, the, uh, one of them down at the bottom actually, was super freaking large. I mean, everything in it was was snakes and spiders and dilos and it was crazy big. It was like half full of water and it was such a pain in the ass. It, it took a lot longer than I expected. So that on top of me losing my dinosaurs is obviously why we're not watching the broodmother battle in this episode. And you know, I am sorry about that guys, but uh, it's not it's not that big of a deal really because from what I understand we actually need to take down all three of the different brood mothers like we have to kill the brood mother at this stone then we have to go to the green stone and kill the brood mother there and then we kill the brood mother at the red stone and at some point that's going to unlock the summoning of the dragon that you see in the trailer so that's what we're actually after we want the dragon we want to tame the dragon we don't really give two shits about the brood mother because I don't like spiders, but uh, the dragon, that's a whole nother story. We've got to get the dragon. Now, as far as I know, the dragon's not incorporated into the game at this point. But, um, you know, of 
course we still want to be ready for it, right? We want to gather up the artifacts. We want to uh, at least take down the brood mothers, and you know, really, we may even have to take down them again. So there's no telling how many videos I'm gonna get, or you know, at least make, when it comes to killing the brood mother. All right, so it is daylight once again, and I want to go ahead and grab something to eat because my dude is freaking hungry. So let's just go ahead and eat what we have here, and uh, I'm pretty good on water because it was just raining. But let's go ahead and take the T-Rex out and kind of um, compare the two, the uh, the Spinosaurus and the T-Rex. Now, like I said, the T-Rex the is a little bit lower level here. Let's see. What, uh, what level's Finn? I think he's like 27. Yeah, he's 27. And uh, Whiskey's level 17, so he is 10 levels lower than Finn, but you wouldn't think that 10 levels would make that big of a difference. So we're still going to take this guy out. And one thing I don't like about the T-Rex is how hard he is to control. Like, you can tell I just ran off the cliff and just ran up the cliff, but I wasn't even trying to do that. I was trying to turn the damn thing. But he does not turn very well. It seems like it takes a night and day cycle for this dude to turn. Anyway, let's go ahead and go see what kind of trouble we can get this guy into. I'm pretty sure this guy wants to kill something. He, uh, he loves to kill things, obviously. They're like his favorite things to do. And uh, let's just growl at them. Yeah, you like that? You like that, you little bastards? Smell my breath. They didn't like that. They walked away. The only problem I've noticed so far with the uh, T-Rex is he has got a massive amount of stamina, more than any other dinosaur. But his stamina runs out so quick. It's, it's kind of like, um, what the hell, you know? Just one of those, I don't get it. I really don't understand how the stamina mechanic works in this game. I mean, obviously, with the bigger dinosaurs, you would need more stamina, but you would still think this guy could actually walk more than 10 seconds before he needed a break. You mind if I come over here and hang with you guys? Is everybody ignores me until I growl. Yeah. Did that get your attention? No, it didn't. So, okay. Fuck you. We're just gonna eat these guys. They're not being nice, they're ignoring my dude. He's trying to make friends, but making friends is extremely hard for a T-Rex. You know, they have such horrible breath and they're always going around growling and, and stuffing people's faces and nobody wants that, right? What about you, you wanna die? I bet you do, don't you? You like T-Rexes killing on you, it's fun. I think I knocked a tree down, I'm sorry about that. You enjoying that tasty little snack? Can I get some of that with you? I won't get up in there with you, man. Hey, hey, that's right, come over here and chill with me. What are you doing? Hey, oh shit, I thought we were friends, man. What the frick is your problem, dude? We're supposed to be buddies. He was only level one, too. Little weak bastard. Come over here fucking with me. How you doing? You look cool. Can I play with you? Can I play with you? What's your problem? Did I kill him? Ah, oh, see, I play too rough. No. No frick you, Carno. That's my shit. What the hell's wrong with you? Get off my stuff. I like his markings. The Carno has some nice markings to him. Dude, you ate all my food. Damn it. Damn it. We're, oh, there we go. Okay, we got him. It's cool, we got that, dude. Everybody wants a piece of my T-Rex for some reason. That's not right. Everybody sees the big T-Rex come to town and they're just immediately wanting to challenge his authority. You know, I did notice, guys, that uh, when you jump out of the saddle and some of the bigger dinos, you can stay on the back of them and just fight from them. So that is so freaking cool, and I fell. Just shoot him in the face. I shoot you. Show everybody how awesome my gun is. Yeah, you like that? I bet you do. Damn, how many bullets is it going to take to take this dude down? That is not cool. Freaking hell, the turtles are so tough. I killed him, though. It's good. We killed him. All right. Come on, let's go, Rex. Nobody wants to play with you. All right, you're just too big and scary, man. You keep growling at everybody. You can't do that. I see these stegas all just kind of swapping each other around. Let's go ahead and eat these guys. Let's just eat them. You know, I did manage to recover a brontosaurus egg too, guys. And those things weigh 20 freaking pounds. Do you believe that? Why can't, why can't I move? Why can't I move? There we go. Did I kill both of them? Hey, get out of my damn way. Hey, I'm walking here. Don't you see me walking? I'm freaking walking here. Get out of my way. I'm going to eat you. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so for some reason, the game has started running like poo again. I'm not really sure why. 
but I'm gonna have to end the episode right here. I did want to do a little bit more. I was gonna show off a little bit more, but obviously can't with the, the low frames that I'm getting right now. So until next time, I'm going to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching. Take care, guys.